Hi, Les Blackstock here from Enhanced Clinic. We're going to discuss another little thing that we hope helpful for girls considering breast implants, and that's the decision to go above versus below. Now, both of these can look great, both of these can look not great, it depends on what your actual body is. The below implants have more pain, so I tell people considering a scale of 0 to 10, Childbirth is usually considered 8s, 9s, 10s, 11s, 12s, under muscles expect 7s, 8s, 9s. Now that can be relevant to you, but I'll give you great and strong medication. It usually takes 7 to 10 days on a downtime, the more physical the job, the more. And you usually need 2 to 3 weeks of exercise, stronger amount of times off weights, 5 to 6 weeks, and then the final result can take 6 to 16 weeks to settle down. Comparatively, above have moderate pain, sometimes very little. Three to five days back, I've seen three sometimes, one to two with cardio, three to four with weights, and four to eight of the recovery from that side. So the reason a younger woman will generally prefer to go under the muscle is that it's a more stable breast over time. However, if you're older and you don't have as much time or you're more willing to support your breast, often going above can still give you a stable breast. The bigger your breasts are, the bigger the implants you put in, the more chance you will have with sagging. An above muscle implant does look slightly more higher and perkier on the chest. And again, if you have a larger breast and you can't get enough, because that's one of the other strong limitations of having an under muscle, the muscles dictate all you can get in there. So you may be disappointed if you don't want too big, or you may have the breast tissue fall over the top. There's a slight risk of um, reduction of capsular contraction with going under than above. In my hands, we seem to find this out. So there's not a right decision, and it's important you take the time to talk it through. You may be comfortable at different stages in their life. It is possible to change, but there's significant risks involved. So we'll go through it with you individually and we'll guide what can be best for you and your breast. I hope this helps you girls. See you later.